everybody I am back with another color CL review um, so the pair that I'm wearing right now is not from this set this is from one of my other reviews but it is very similar to this one which is in the set that I'm gonna trial so um, a review I just wanted to put these on for comparison so both lenses have got a blue rim around them and kind of like a brownish hazel center these, however, are very vibrant, and the color, especially the blue rim, they're very bright, and I think they look quite natural considering the colors, and so I just wanted to go ahead and put this on to start with. So, as always, I open the case, I let you see what the lens looks like in the case, I move it from a black background to a color background, then I show what it looks like in the actual contact lens case. So, a couple of things. There's cat hair everywhere. So I've got cats and I've got two white cats here. One of them has got long hair. One of them is shedding. And no matter what I've tried to do, I, I can't get rid of the cat hair. Uh, I've got brushes. I've got, um, the cat hair removers, uh, lint rollers and stuff. I can't get rid of every bit of hair. So it looks probably really foul to see me reviewing contact lenses and see a ton of cat hair in the background but you know what I, I'm sorry but there's nothing I could do about it at all it's just it's impossible everywhere I go I bring cat hair with me because my cats are everywhere and the hair is everywhere and no amount of no amount of washing or getting rid of it can help that so unfortunately it is what it is and my hands are clean before I put the contacts in my eyes and that's what should matter the background there's nothing I could do about it but I mean again these are for me it's not like I'm giving these open lenses to anybody so you know it is what it is again so um, let me see here what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and pop out one of these denim blue lenses so you can see so this is the denim blue lens as you can see it's got the same color setup as the one that I'm wearing and I just want to compare it real quick so you see what it looks like. See, they are very similar, but the denim blue is much more natural looking than the one that I've already got on. So that's the, I don't even know what it's called. I have to go look it up, I'm sorry. And that's the denim blue. So I'll go ahead and pop both denim blues in. So if you're looking for a contact lens that's got a rim around it and looks pretty natural, the denim blue is, is a good one for you. So this is the denim blue. This is probably my favorite of the bunch because they look like the other ones. They've got a kind of a bluish rim around fading into a, um, let me see if I can, I always try to do this. I can't get closer. Fading into like a hazel center, which blends very realistically into your own eye color in the middle. If you've got brown eyes, so these do look pretty realistic, and I do really like the way these look. I just think they're very understated, and as always, I like very over-the-top, bright, obvious colors. These are my least favorite out of all of them. I was really hoping that I would see something interesting with these to make it really worth it. But in my opinion, unless you've got colored eyes, this is not a good one. So I've got one contact on. Can you tell which eye has a contact? Let me get closer. It's this one. 
So this is the Siesta Pearl Pure White. This is just supposed to add a bit of a sparkle to your eye to make it look a tiny, tiny bit lighter without changing your eye color. If you see the contact lens, it's almost completely see-through, but it has a rim. You can see that little rim right there of glitter. So you pop it on and your eyes are a tad brighter, I suppose, but it really doesn't do anything in my opinion. I can't see under what circumstances you'd be able to really see this to justify putting a contact lens over your eye. I would like to think that it would change your color at least a little bit or brighten it, but this doesn't really do anything. Maybe if your eyes were lighter or darker, I'm not really sure, but on my eyes, I really can't see the difference. This is the Siesta Green, which I find is a really odd name because these don't really look green at all. They look like a really pretty blue color or along the lines of a mint color. These do have amazing coverage though. These are really pretty. The pupil hole is a bit large, a bit larger than my taste, but the coverage is good. I like that it's not solid and it kind of feathers out a little bit. The color of the lens when it's not in your eye is a very sky blue color. It's like a minty, bright, light blue. So I'm not sure how they came up with the color green for this because these don't look green at all. But I quite like these. These are, these are pretty because they're noticeable. This is the Siesta Violet, which is another one that I quite like. I've noticed that Color CL's purples, um, the purples are quite nice. They're not overdone and they don't look very fake. I mean, they, they look fake, but not fake, not like costume lenses. Um, they're noticeable, but not in your face. What are you wearing? Kind of. Um, these also have got the feathered uh, pupil hole which softens the look quite a bit I think um, again the coverage is really good but purple usually goes really well with brown anyway and um, I really like the shade of these because they're understated without being understated if that makes sense it's kind of like oh you've got colored eyes what color are those and they are a very beautiful shade uh, and I, I really like these quite a bit these I don't know how to pronounce these so I'm just going to show you these are from the black romance line which as you guys will know by now is my favorite line I don't know how to say that Diane Diane I don't know this is the black romance whatever that word is and um, I love I, I, I'd say these are my favorites out of the whole set because they have got the normal coverage um, and full-on color that I expect from Black Romance. Um, the coverage is, again, it's amazing. The color is realistic. Um, the feathering around the pupil hole is beautiful. All in all, these are amazingly realistic, highly pigmented contact lenses. They're, they're gorgeous. They are not really enlarging, slightly enlarging maybe, but not hugely. Um, Sahara is my next favorite line, but they do have quite a bit of enlarging effect. So 
if you have a very light contact, you'll see the contact will be here and your, or your pupil, your iris will be here and the contact will be here and you'll see this overlap and it looks really fake. It really undoes the whole illusion that you've got colored eyes, but they are so pretty. You kind of go with it anyway. These, however, these are gorgeous. I, I really do love these. I don't know why I waited so long to try these. Probably just because they were, they seem to be just one dimensional. Not really much to them, but um, I do really love these. These are the Sparkle Edition Jasper. And again, I don't know why I waited so long to try these ones. Um, sparkle and the Pearl are pretty much hit or miss depending on what color you get. Some of them are really good and some of them are not so great. I like these because as far as Sparkle goes, they look very natural. But also, you can, you know, you can see a difference. Uh, my real eye color is not this light. And it is a very natural but light looking contact lens and being sparkle it's got the glitter in it that will um you know highlight and showcase your eyes very well and this is great for a subtle but noticeable look as well and i'm not a fan of subtle as i always say but seeing as you know sparkle and pearl sometimes aren't that great i would consider this a win Lastly, these are Colorplay Metatron, and I originally had no interest in these because I thought that they were going to look really horrible, and I, end up, I actually ended up really liking these. Um, these are one of my favorites from this round, uh, and as far as Colorplay goes, aside from the screen lenses, which I love, these are probably amongst the top favorites of mine. I really love the little crackle effect that it has in it and the fact that the rim is so dark and the middle is so dark but for some reason it colors the eye really well and it doesn't look as weird I guess as a lot of the other red lenses do or might or the other um, costume lenses. I mean I think this is a very cool statement lens and it looks amazing i really really love the color there and i love the coverage i love the design and um it just goes to show you you know sometimes you might not be interested in something because you think it looks really dumb or it wouldn't suit you and then you try it and you're like damn that looks really good so i i'm really impressed with these i know these are josh's favorites out of all of them and and uh these are amongst my favorites as well i'm, I'm really intrigued by that uh, design there at the bottom and I'm really loving the way that these lenses look. <laughs> 